huge mass of cloud here. It is a major hurricane, a category four. So David. George. Now, now 130 miles an hour. David. David, are you okay? George, help! Come quick! David! David! He's not okay! I think we need to call an ambulance. If they are unresponsive and not breathing normally, phone 999. Which service do you require? Ambulance. Emergency ambulance? What's the full address of the emergency? 15 St. James's Close, CF 64 4PP. Please help. I've just found my husband collapsed on the floor. Okay, please bear with me whilst I locate you. Is the patient awake? Check to see if the patient is conscious. No, he's collapsed. Can you check to see if he's breathing normally? Look at the rise and fall of his chest. Put the phone on the floor on loudspeaker. Check to see if they are breathing normally. I don't think he's breathing. Please send someone. OK. Don't panic. What exactly has happened? I don't know. I heard a bang and found him collapsed on the floor. OK. What's your name? Julie. OK, Julie. Help is on its way. It's time to act. A patient who isn't conscious and isn't breathing normally is considered to be in cardiac arrest. Every minute without CPR will significantly reduce their chance of survival. I can see there's a defibrillator available at the corner shop opposite. Can you send someone to get it now? If possible, send someone to get the nearest defibrillator as soon and as fast as they can. If there is no defibrillator, continue with CPI instructions. I know where it is. I'll be as quick as I can. I need to know how old they are. 57. Listen carefully. Lay them flat on their back, remove any padding from underneath them so they're directly on the floor. Lie them on their back. Make sure nothing is beneath their head. The floor is the best place for effective compressions. During times of increased infection, please use a cloth or face covering before attempting CPR. We're going to have to perform CPR until the ambulance arrives. To reduce the risk of coronavirus transmission, I need you to place a cloth or face covering over his nose and mouth. OK, Julie, tell me as soon as the defibrillator arrives. Listen carefully, and I'll tell you how to do chest compressions until the crew arrives. Make sure he's flat on his back on the floor. I'm so nervous. OK, I can do this. It's OK, Julie, we can do this together. I'm right here with you. Place the heel of your hand on the breastbone in the centre of the chest, right between the nipples. Put your other hand on top of that hand and interlock hand your fingers. The Pump the chest hard and fast, fingers. at least twice okay. per second and five centimetres deep. Twice per second. Let the chest come all the way up between pumps. We're going to do this until help can take over. Interlock your fingers, position your hands in the centre of the chest and start CPR. Remember to pump the chest hard and fast and five centimetres deep. One, two... Julie, three, follow three, my lead. One. We're going to continue at this rate here. One, two, three, four. One, two... Keep doing the compressions over and over. Don't give up. This will keep him going until the ambulance crew arrives. I have the defibrillator. Timing is important. Aim for two compressions a second. And I left the front door open for the ambulance. We have the defibrillator. OK. Open the lid if necessary and press the on button if there is one. Undo or remove any clothing from their chest. If their chest is wet, dry it off. OK, we've undone his shirt. Stay calm. The defibrillator unit will talk you through the process. Listen and carefully follow the instructions. Anyone can use a defibrillator. You do not have to be medically trained. You cannot do any harm with a defibrillator. The unit will not work if the person does not need it. But do not stop CPR. Unit OK. 
Remove clothes from patient's chest. Find the pads and check they're plugged into the machine. Yes, they're already in. Remove pads and place exactly as shown. Open the packets of pads, peel off the backing and apply the pads to the bare chest as shown. The machine will tell you what to do. Follow its instructions. Let me know if you need any help. Okay, they're on. Analyzing heart rhythm. Stand clear of patient. George, stand back. Don't touch him. The defibrillator unit will decide if a shock is needed. Shock required. Press the flashing button now. Shock delivered. Start CPR. Paramedics! Well done, Julie. The paramedics can take it from here. You've done a brilliant job. You've given your husband the best chance. Every year in Wales, over 6,000 people will have a cardiac arrest. Around 80% of these cardiac arrests will happen in the home. Touch someone's life, learn CPR and defibrillation. You never know when someone you love may need your help.